In this video, I'll show you my ultra simple PKM setup that I used to write three books in three months, 337 articles in one year, and now YouTube videos twice a week while working full time. But first we need to know exactly what we mean by PKM. If you just look up on Google, we find that knowledge is facts, information, and skills acquired through experience and education. And while management is a process of dealing with the controlling things of people, PKM is therefore how we deal with or control relevant facts, relevant information, so relevant skills. So in other words, when we learn something new or acquire a different thing that we find fascinating, we want to be using that insight again and again and not having to come up with it all over again and thus gain more leverage and power as individuals. And if you follow these channels, you probably know that I'd like to keep things extremely easy and simple because at the end of the day, what matters is the work that we do and how good we are at it and how often we do it. So my ideal PKM system must be extremely easy, which to me means more accessible and more clear and also with great support from it. It must also be reliable with no overhead. And it must also be anti-fragile, which is a very cool word, which basically means that the more stress and harm you do to it, the better it gets. So it's pretty much unstoppable at that point. So now we'll go over how my PKM setup looks like, and it has two components, input and output. In terms of acquiring more information about the topic, I use YouTube a lot. I made a whole video on how I use it, but in short, I save every video that pops up and watch later. Then when I'm not working, meditating, being with others or sleeping, I consume it together with music and stillness from time to time. I also listen to podcasts, audiobooks, and even to normal articles if needed, using Google's fantastic text-to-speak feature. Then we have the note-taking itself. If it's relevant for one of my upcoming videos, I write down or copy-paste my thoughts in Evernote, where I store everything YouTube. And for everything else, I use Mem.ai and in particular the daily note feature. You can use any note-taking app for this, but these two won my ranking in an earlier video. If I ever come across these notes again, I want to make it easier and easier to read. I'm a big fan of progressive summarization, and Tiago Forte in general, by the way. So therefore, I bold the most essential parts and even highlight the bolded parts if more valuable. Then it's super easy to grab a note and get the gist. You can go through hundreds of notes using this without any more work than just reading what you like. Now you might have noticed that I one, use my phone a whole lot and two, that I never read but just listen. And this is because that when I'm at the computer, as I am most of the time, I want to work instead. I want to do the things that I only can do at the computer and everything else to do on the phone because it's more accessible. And compared to mainstream productivity advice who really says that the phone is the devil, it's, it's a disaster, you have to use as little as possible. Remember all this screen time which you can boast how little you use the phone. But I'm complete opposite. I love my phone. It's an amazing tool, you can bring it anywhere, you can access whatever you want to know, and if you can use your phone properly so you don't use it for distractions only, then it's the best tool ever in my experience. If you're not using what you gather and learn in order to create stuff, deliver value to all the people around the world, then it's really no point in using PKM. So the main attention for me goes to the work itself, and PKM is just supporting that in the best possible way. So what you will hear now is primarily how I make videos like these because that is where I'm directing my PKM efforts to. Whenever I start a video project, I begin with brainstorming title and thumbnail, but also what I call raw materials. There I simply dump everything relevant that I might want to say. If I want to look up things I already captured, I search for it in mem and add it to the project document. But then comes the critical part, which I feel most people miss. Whenever I feel okay and ready to start writing, I remove information, I remove notes and sources that I feel that it's no longer adding to the story and also if I'm adding it already to the story and I no longer need it. And sooner or later there comes a point and it's usually gut instinct when you think, ah, this is how the outline and this is how the intro should be. And whenever you get that thought, as with any other things that you assume I hear, just write it. And often I just simply type on the intro because I have some kind of opening line which I feel could really enhance the whole experience in the beginning and just write from there. So it becomes a loop of writing the text itself and removing parts that 
does no longer add to it. And also other things I feel is missing. And this all happens on the phone. I write my articles and scripts by walking, on the bus, on the beach, traveling, etc. So I can spend all time on the computer just editing, which I cannot do on my phone, unfortunately. And while on the phone, I can look up in the sky and the forest and getting my eyes happy too. One thing that is critical, especially when you're getting better and better at this, is to switch between notes. You want to be able to simply stop, like for instance, you're getting interrupted, like you're getting a phone call, or even when you're doing something else, like going to sleep, and then come back again in the same flow state that you were last time. You also want to write on one note and get an idea that could be relevant for another project that you're working on, and quickly freeze that, go to that project, write the idea there, and then come back and continue as if nothing has happened. And in order to accomplish that, there are two key practices that I found very helpful. The first is to write down all relevant thoughts when you have them, or simply forget them. We are not wired to remember things, but with PKM we can forget instead and be in the moment, which are the times we are the most happy and effective anyway. It is when we are forgetting and offloading all the time that we learn the fastest. So if you try to remember anything in the short term, just delegate that job to trusted apps. And if you keep an empty mind at all times, almost like a glass, a glass is your mind which you can drink and pour some new water once it's empty, etc. Then you become interruption proof. You can simply go back to the note as if nothing happened because you have all the work in progress there and not here, which is a huge difference. And to go even further, you want to write all these next actions to your calendar too, so you can be with friends without thinking about your work all the time. Second, keep the current work as top of the note as possible, because when you jump back and forth between notes, the last thing you want to do is scroll frantically after where you were last time. So if you dump a lot of links, make sure to stop at the bottom one and work your way up to the top. Now I want to show you how you can implement this hyper-practical and no-nonsense PKM setup today. First, just pick the note-taking app or apps that appeal the most to you. You can check my review here if you're not sure about which one to pick. And remember, you can always switch later, so it's better that you pick today than not pick at all and wait for the best. Other than that, it's all about filling your note-taking system with ideas. So whenever you think about something and cannot forget it, how hard you try, just write it down there. And in the beginning, you can create one note for the day or one new note for every idea, but after a while, you will develop structures that fit you the best. You won't forget all the time, so if you've got a lot of ideas on this video by now, just write them down there so you can forget what I said. The paradox is that once you actually write down your thoughts, you still remember them, but it's gone into the long-term memory much better and not in the short term. So in other words, you're offloading your working memory so you can keep all the associative stuff that your brain is already good at. But most importantly, focus on your work. And while you're working, you can use the PKM setup to add more information and remove information from a project if needed. Keep what you're working on top of each note so you can switch back and forth and expand your influence and value to the world. So now you have the PKM setup, which is easy and reliable, no overhead and also anti-fragile, since you know how to use it and it gets better and better. And if you want to incorporate this with the simplest productivity system that I've found, you can check out this video right here.